we are still knee deep in mud. It has been warmer this week, so the ground has thawed and is super muddy. We drove by the house and saw that the drywall was in the garage and I was dying to see inside the house. Looks like they've prepared the exterior of our home for the siding too. Mommy, this house looks so different. <laughs> it's Mommy, looking like it's a house. Right here. Now you can see more what all the rooms are gonna be like. surprised to see the inside actually resemble a home. I think before the drywall was in, they struggled to see the big picture of what our home was going to look like. It's so <gasps> that looks so good! So the kid bedroom, you girls can be downstairs. Oh, I wanted to be up here. Office. The office will have a hard floor. Bedrooms will have carpet. We were so excited to see the progress that we had to document the moment with a picture. The bridge. We made a path um, to get here. I really know how to get <laughs> started, so. Okay. Our pantry was getting out of control. I have very little motivation to tackle and organize it as we will hopefully be moving into our new home in a few months. But this pantry is actually very similar to the pantry in our future home. So I figured any organization I did in this pantry would transfer over to our new pantry fairly easily. So I went ahead and got some storage containers to help us organize this area. It definitely isn't Pinterest worthy, but that's not what I'm aiming for. I'm keeping it real, people. Look elsewhere for perfect, unrealistic pantries. <laughs> I really hope to be able to fill our pantry with homegrown food, but for now, this is what I have to work with. Now, I won't have to do this project among many other projects when we move into our new home. spell is over and we have another few inches of snow coming down. This makes getting to our house much easier. We did a quick check to see if the tub we wanted had made it into the house. The tub is in and the drywall is up in our bathroom. In the last video, I mentioned how they plumbed in for a shower in our master bathroom. We had asked for a tub and so we quickly made some phone calls to see if they could make the switch. So if you remember, I made a goal to grow 200 onions this year for our family. Well, the onion seedlings are looking good. It's quite an ambitious goal for me to do that this year as I have no idea what to expect with the garden. But my plans thus far are to make rows, top the garden rows with a few inches of compost, broad fork the rows, and throw in my plants with my fingers crossed. I bought some radishes at the local farmer's market. 
I miss fermenting my own veggies so much, but this is the next best thing. I like to slice up the radishes pretty thin so they are more like chips. This is how me and my kids prefer to eat them. They will often have them as a side to their lunches each day. A few years ago, I came across a fermentation formula that I tailored more to my needs and now I use it for most all of my fermenting. It really is my favorite way to create the perfect brine and to be able to ferment the veggies just the way that I like it and add that beneficial bacteria into our food. I want to fly one. Sure. I want to put something on my salad. I want to put on my salad, but I just want These ones aren't, these right ones aren't pickled, so, okay. or I mean fermented. I mean, can I just try one? You like it? But I like it when it's uh, like fermented. fermented. It also is a great way to preserve your harvest if you have excess at the end of the season. Fermented veggies can usually last up to six months in the fridge. In the move, I have misplaced my fermentation weights, so I've just put some rocks in a Ziploc bag, and I'm using those, and it, is, it works just fine. I prefer the weights, but if you don't have fermentation weights, this is another alternative that works great. Here are our radish chips after fermenting for a few weeks. You guys, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. In a few months, we will be turning this house into a home. And I can't wait. <laughs>